are criminals born or made? Data have it that one out of ten people living in this part of the world has suffered one, you know, a fraud or the other. If it is not you, it could be someone closely related to you. You know, look around you. You know, someone you know, you know, must have suffered, you know, one fraud or the other. In this particular class, I'm going to be talking about bank frauds. What is bank fraud? We are going to be looking at the nature, the origin, you know, how do you detect, you know, fraud and how to prevent, you know, uh, fraud, particularly in, you know, banking sector or particularly how do you escape, you know, being uh, victimized. Let's look at introduction. You know, what is fraud in the first place? So fraud is a dishonest acts and behavior by which one, you know, person gains or intends to gain advantage over another person. The gains may, you know, uh, accrue to the person themselves or to another person. You know, what we're saying, the gains could be direct or indirect. Fraud causes loss to the victim directly or indirectly. I want you to know that that the adverse of fraud, you know, in the life of the victims is uh, is disheartening and is is dangerous because a lot of people have taken their life as a result of these. Uh, dastardly, you know, uh, acts. Now let's look at, in general term, what does the word fraud, bank fraud, means in general terms? You now bank frauds include all sort of manipulation, all sort of misappropriations, embezzlements, Manipulations of negotiating instruments or negotiable instruments such as checks, drafts, bills, or statement of accounts, securities. You know, fraud also includes misrepresentation. You know, fraud also means misrepresentation, cheating, thefts. Undue favor, taking undue favor of something and also irregular, irregularities. Yes, irregularities, all sort of irregularities in banking transactions. This, you know, are, uh, can account for, you know, fraudulent acts in the banking sector. Now, objective of this class, I want my student to be able to state the nature, you know, the nature of bank frauds, as well as the banker's role in prevention and detention of frauds. Let's look at the nature of bank frauds quickly. These are activities that could constitute in a bank, you know, below, you know, uh, number one, fraudulent acts. Whatever that, you know, we mentioned above, cheating, theft, or taking undue favor, irregularities, miss uh, misinterpretations, embezzlement, misappropriations, these are fraudulent acts. Two, false statements when you, you know, um, 
made a false statement that is fraudulent acts. Then number three, active concealment of facts. What does that mean? When you try to hide the facts, you know, from the authority, you know, you know something is truth, but you are trying to manipulate, you are, going, you are trying to hide the fact. That is what we mean by active concealment of facts. Number four, false promises. False promises. False promises. What do we mean by false promises? When you promise someone of payment or whatever form of promise and you do not fulfill your parts, that could constitute a fraud. Number five, material silence. When you try to, you know, um, manipulate an instrument, trying to make it, you know, uh, real. When you try to, you know, uh, when you try to manipulate figures, when you try to, you know, uh, sign a check, you know, to make it look real. That is what we mean by material silence. Then number six, misleading suggestions and assertions. Misleading suggestions and assertions. What do we mean by misleading suggestions? You know, uh, similar to what we mean by for, uh, similar to false statements. Misleading. When you give a suggestion that is misleading and that we indirectly or directly benefit you, you know, that could constitute fraud. Then number seven is what we call impersonation. We are talking about the nature of bank fraud. Impersonation is also common. You know, uh, people pick, uh, you know, check someone's check possibly open chair and run quickly to the counter to cash the money you know claiming to be the person you know uh this is what we mean by uh impersonation impersonation could come in any form people could impersonate you know being a banker People could impersonate customers, you know. Uh. All right, still talking about the origin of bank fraud, the Bureau of Police Research and Development carried out studies on bank fraud, and here are their, you know, findings. You know what constitutes bank fraud. You cannot profile solution or you cannot solve the uh, problem of bank fraud without knowing the origin of bank fraud. What are the things that constitute uh, bank fraud? 